Hello and welcome to yet another short video. So in today's video we will be purchasing XDK, so kudos uh, made by Tobo Lab. So it's more or less a thing, a fun token. So in order to support the project, I would have to look it up quickly though. So we've got it here. Yep. It's a the kudos utility token to encourage use engagement XDK toolkit. We're using utility and lo loyalty token kudos XDK for gamification rewards and discounts. Okay, right. So uh, this is going to be continued and all of that. And they, uh, you can see here they're doing a rewards program and stuff like that. And you can also purchase those. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to add a trust line. So we're just going to click on add and click on Tobo Labs and just add XDK and then sign the transaction so that is not that hard so just sign it again and we have set the trust and so now we're also able to trade it so we can just uh, we don't even have to use the uh, gate hub stuff uh, or the other uh, uh, other program pathfinder we can just click on xk and click on exchange and we can directly exchange it then we can for example um offer 0.1 xop and we would okay right so we can see here that the spread is too uh too high so we we can't use the native xb toolkit by so oh, my value we can use the native functionality of the zum app we have to use the gate up trade up here uh, to do that so we're gonna try it again here and maybe there is a market for xdk to uh the other one so let's see if they're offering xdk here but i don't think so as well uh, nope, it doesn't look like they're offering XDK here either. Um, meaning that we're also able to purchase it here, but we will have to use the pathfinding. Um, unfortunately, I'm not quite sure if the pathfinding is already live, um, but I will go to the uh, X app has history, and there's the uh, app, right? Oh, that's the other one. Uh, right, so we can try to use this DEX here. So exchanging XRP to um, XDK by Tobo Labs, right? Um, I will do a buy order. So I can only do a limit order. But I could, for example, the limit price I want to buy, um, receive. Okay, it's the other one. I want to sell one XRP. And the price would be, so it's right now 88, so I guess I'm just going to do 87, so one less. I'm going to be selling 0 0.1, so let's see if it works. So I'm selling 0 0.1 XOP, 8.7 8 XDK. And let's see what's going to happen if I sign that. And we can see here I submitted it, and... Well, I guess I will have to wait until the order gets fulfilled, or I'm also going to cancel it quickly again. I'm going to try it using the, um, what was the other thing? Wait a sec. So I am going to use the, great, yeah, I'm going to use the pathfinding for that. Let's see the, if the X is already available here. So this is a feature not released yet, so unfortunately it doesn't work yet. But I will be using my dev account again. Okay. So I want okay, the recipient will receive one extra P. And oh my bad, no, I don't want to want the recipient to receive XP, I want the recipient to receive XDK. So like eight a XDK. And I would be paying 0 0.1012 XRP, cool. So yeah, the path was found here. Uh, and even other cool paths, but let's do it that, that way here. So for 8 XDK, cool. I'm just gonna side, sign this here. And okay, great. So I think it should have worked. Cool, yep, it worked. So you can see here now that XDK is in there. 8 XDK arrived in my account uh, using the pathfinding sum map. Um, so because there wasn't, I think, enough liquidity there, so if we try to exchange it directly, there's not enough liquidity. You can see here the price difference spread between selling and buying offers is too high. Um, that's why the pathfinding sum app is able to do that, but the normal direct exchange will not. And also the GitHub app doesn't offer that. 
and this only the only way you could do that is like is uh, using um, the exhibit toolkit on the website or using a uh, using the pathfinding app i'm not quite sure if the pathfinding app is already released i don't think so so you will have to wait until it's released but that's how you can do it in the future as soon as it's uh public access all right so what else is there and the other part would be ha using the sologenic um but for that we you will have to set a trust line again but we don't here it's not uh shown if there so there right now is only showing gate and bit stuff that is no problem um, but we still have to do it a little bit differently now because we need to add a new token here, which is listed here. So we can't do it directly in, in the sum app. We will have to go to the website. So we will have to go to sologenic.org, uh, click on access DAX, and then use our phone and scan the QR code here. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to open the sum app. I'm going to click on connect wallet. I'm going to click on sum up again, connect, then I'm going to scan the QR code using the, um, yeah, using the sum up. All right, then I'm going to sign that. And I'm logged in here. And then I can also, for example, trade here in the trading pair solo Janik to XRP. And I want, for example, to, to buy one xrp uh right so the different one so once to sell xrp oh, oh uh, what's the wait a sec okay my bad yep i want to buy one sorgenic i would be paying okay i'm gonna lessen that i want to buy 0 0.1 sorgenic i would be paying 0 0.12 xrp so i'm gonna place the order confirm that then it's gonna show up in the sum app and i have to sign it again and then after signing it on the phone, we are good to go. Right, sign and dispatched. So let's see if it's already fulfilled. So yeah, it was also, I think it has been submitted, but let's check the uh, the phone here. And we can also see if we now 0.1 uh, Sologenic here. And now we can also click on it and click on exchange. And there's the same problem again. So you can cannot directly trade it here um, you really have to use the pathfinding or use the website. So with the pathfinding, you can also do it again. Uh, but like I said, the pathfinding, I don't think it's public access yet. So we just still have to wait a little until it works. But now we can, for example, select that I want Sologenic, uh, 0.1 Sologenic. And then it's looking, showing you all the possible paths here. Uh, and it doesn't seem to work though, does it? No, for example, there's not enough liquidity to solve it also with, um, with pathfinding so you have to directly trade it on the website here it doesn't work any other way yet and right so that's how you can um trade xdk and also trade sorgenic all right uh thanks for watching and see you in the next one